Hello, my loves. Hello. Happy Monday. It's Monday Night Live. Monday Night Live. Here I am, Kara Lockwood, with Kara Lockwood Art and Furniture Design, just like it says right there. Wait, how do I start that? Right there. There's the way it says that right there. Um, I am, hi, Amber Hutchins. I'm super excited tonight because we, I, I'm bringing on a special guest and she is driving home from work right now. So she might be a little stressed out, but as soon as she's ready, I will bring her on and we're going to do, hi Vicki, we're going to do some fun stuff together. So do you all have, does anybody have a pair of Birkenstock shoes or have you ever had a pair of Birkenstocks or mine are fake Birkenstocks. Back in the day, I had real Birkenstocks and I have found that the fake Birkenstocks are just as comfortable. Hi, Robert. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello, Miss Cindy. How's everybody doing? So, but they're so ugly, you guys. They're so ugly. And then the ones that you can get at the store, they're like granny looking. I have a pair that has little flowers on them and they're kind of granny looking. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. She says, oh God, yes. So I am going to make them cool looking with some intuitive art style Birkenstocks. And I don't know what my guest Crystal Marie Molina, Crystal Coral Marie Molina is going to do with hers, but we're all going to do something different with ours. Okay. So <laughs> thank you, Mary. Hi, Carrie, Carrie Bilberry. Hi, Peggy. So this is what I invite you to do. Let's all paint our ugly shoes, our sandals this week. Okay. Or go to Walmart. They're $14 and grab a pair of Birkenstocks and paint your sandals and post them and put hashtag Kara's crew. Okay. Hi, 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 Matt. Hi, Bobby Shirley. Matt Jenny. That's my brother's guys. That's my brother. Um, Derek Carlton. Hello, sir. Hi, Tanya. How's everybody doing today? I hope all of the Texans are doing better. We're doing much better here. It was a rough go of it, but um, we're doing much better. Hi, Stacy. So if you are part of Kara's crew, hashtag Kara's crew, capital C's please. <laughs> Make sure you put that because then we can always find ourselves later. So since Crystal is not here yet, I will just get going and I'll talk to you guys a little bit, but I'll show you what I did. Kara's crew on the sandals. Oh, that's a good idea. I can do that. So I have two, two pairs. I have two sandals here because I have two feet. And the first thing I did was I just taped off with, look how ugly those are, you guys. I mean, I don't understand why they can't make Birkenstocks. Because this part, I don't mind. It's this. Like, why can't they make them prettier? And I know these are fake ones, but... Um, still, they're all ugly. Thank you for the Kara's crew. Um, so I taped them off with Wasi tape and hi Jennifer Hoops. And Wasi tape is, I swear by that for taping off because it's thinner. And so it gives you a really, really nice line and seal if you are taping lines, which I'm not taping lines on here. I'm just taping it off right now. So, um, we're going to get going. I'm using DIY paint because it sticks it sticks and it bends so it's clay based but for some reason if you don't paint it too thick it's very flexible and it won't come off so i'm going to do that hi kim hello beautiful to you my love hello beautiful to you okay so we're gonna get started let me show you this is the other shoe and so i'm going to cute huh can you see that I'm going to paint details on this after I show you how I paint this. So I've got all my brushes, all my turquoise iris brushes, and we're going to just get going. And I'm just going to paint on sections. Like I'm just going to go like, ooh, I like this color, so I'm going to paint some of this on. This is DIY's fire starter. Okay. Oh, Crystal's here. Let's say hi to Crystal. There she is. All right, she is here. 
Okay, let's see, add to stream, yay. Hi, hola, hola. How are you? You made it. I made it, thank you. I was waiting, I was like waving at everybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're in the guest room going, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Turn my camera now, I gotta adjust it now because I'm now I'm off to the side, good. So you just got home from work, huh? Or driving home from where? Well, I start work tomorrow. What? But, Do you want to announce something? No. Secret. Please. Can you announce it? Maybe. Are you not allowed to? I don't know. It's, it's my life. I'm, I'm starting at DIY A Go-Go tomorrow with Debbie. And um, you might see me live every once in a while, which will be exciting. Oh my God, that is so, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Yes, I'm excited. It'll be a fun place to work. I'm lucky to live in San Diego and be so close to the shop. So yeah. I'm, I'm so happy for you. You're gonna love it. And, and that's gonna be so good for you and so good for your business too. Oh my gosh. Yes. So great. Be... Well, then let's paint. Let's or, paint. Or... How, what are you doing with your shoes? Well, I painted, I put um, transfers on my newer Birkin. These ones are like flat. Like I should really just throw them away, but sometimes I garden in them. Yeah. But I'm going to paint with them. I had them for, I wore them um, in Zion in the Narrows in the water. Wow. For our water shoes, they're not, like they're dead. Yeah. They got a flat tire. But sometimes those are the most comfortable ones. They are. They like, they fit my soul. <laughs> my soul, your feet soul and your soul. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to start painting. I already told them what I'm going to do. So while I start painting, why don't you tell them what you're doing? Um, and I'll, every once in a while, everybody says, um, Sylvia and Derek and Jennifer Hoops and Stacy and all the, all the peeps say congratulations. Gracias. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Me too. I get to learn all the things, be in a happy place, get to see the sunset closer to the ocean than from my house. You get to get, have hands on time with the best mentor there is. Yes, sir, Bob. I mean, just that in, in, in and of itself is amazing. It's going to be so great for you. is the boho stamp oh you, you're using a stamp yeah that was my plan Ooh, that's fun um i thought i had white oh there it is i found it don't worry i was gonna do crinoline but you know that's like more a little yellowy yeah so i'm gonna have to put two coats of paint on these you guys so I'm just showing you the first coat and then I'm going to, after I do this first coat, I'm going to get to doing all the details and making them into intuitive art amazingness. I mean, who doesn't want intuitive art sandals, right? Intuitive soul. There you go. Intuitive art and soul. Get it? <laughs> I used to be in a store called Art and Soul. That was fun. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Um, it's in Encinitas, actually. <laughs> well, then that means for sure I've seen it. For sure. For sure. For sure. So do you want to tell everybody a little bit about your business and what you do? Sure. Um, my name is Crystal Coral Marie Molina. And I... I'm a mixed media artist. I like doing tiny paintings of nouns. Of what? Nouns. Things. People, places and things. <laughs> okay. And um, recently I've been doing a lot of pet commissions, which has been fun. They're two by three inches and they come on this little easel. So that's a fun challenge to paint tiny. You guys, they're tiny. Do you have one right there? No. Like, they are tiny. I don't understand. Like, I, I see it. I'm like, oh my God, 
I don't even understand. They're like big, like this. I have a right. little bigger one. I think it's a. Ignore the things that are happening around me. Um, I have a three and a half by five that I did. Show us. I'll show you. Okay. Um, so this one is on an iron orchid design um, wood canvas, you know, like the shadow box. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. And look this, at that, you guys. That's um, amazing. So this was from a picture that I took while I was in Hawaii because I love Hawaii. And there was this really beautiful plant that was like bright magenta and this butterfly spent its like last moments on earth i guess i go to heaven oh you saw it yeah so this is actual photo that i took and then i use that as my reference and then i paint nice on top of that it's kind of hard to show when it has that i use um High gloss varnish, Liquitex. Uh huh. So, oh so yeah, so it's hard, so it's shiny yeah. a little bit. But yeah, I really I like the challenge of that. I mean, I also paint big pieces of furniture like a canvas as well. Yes. It's fun about tiny art to me. But you're all about the tiny art. I love that. Look at this tiny chair. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a tiny chair. That's <laughs> You could just sit on it, you know? <laughs> and I think that's so funny, don't you? I bet you, I bet you in your head, because your head's a little crazy. I bet you, <laughs> you, you wish you could be tiny and paint that chair. I believe in fairies. So this is a fairy chair. That's right. You told me, you told me something about my fairy the other day, I think. Really? I don't know. You said something about, I don't know. You, you, you did bring up fairy. Oh no, no, no. Disco fairy. You were calling Ellie, Ellie at the DIY shop. She's a disco fairy, <laughs> which is a compliment. You guys, that's a full on compliment. Disco fairy. I mean, I want to be a disco fairy. She could sit on that chair. She could, she's so tiny and she would look really good on it. <laughs> Um, I have a, a dollhouse that I painted and I have like vintage um, rattan, like boho furniture that's tiny. And I put my jewelry in there. So, oh, that's nice thing. I got, I got cowgirl coral. Who doesn't love that color? Well, it's one of my middle names. So, it's well, well yeah. cowgirl is. Yep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. Hey, you guys, we would really love if you all did the thing that you know you need to do because Crystal is just getting started in this crazy paint world and all that. And that would just be a nice thing to do. You, fairy, know, what, you fairy, know what I'm talking about, right? Fairy sprinkles. Yes, fairy sprinkles. Please give us some paint fairy sprinkles. So Crystal is in both of my creative groups. Are you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Wow, that looks terrible. I'm so glad I'm doing this with you. Okay, let's keep going. Why does it look terrible? Well, sometimes it's just adjusting your... Okay. I'm, I'm interested to see how the stamps work. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to stamp on a um, curve. Oh, yeah, that is true. Very hard. So Thursday, um, my podcast that I recorded with Dion's coming out. So happy for you. That'll be fun. What did you guys talk about? You. Me. Just kidding. <laughs> We talked about how wonderful you are. <laughs> um, but we'll, yeah. have to, we'll have to tune in and see, huh? Yeah. Um, 
I That's the way she's gonna play it, guys. We're gonna have to tune in and see. I don't remember. It was one. It was just one of those conversations that kept flowing, and yeah, we're chatting. I think she asked about growing up, where I grew up, where I'm from. Nice. A bit about Waco, where we get to hang out more, which was super cool too. Mm -hmm. So many wonderful people there. I know. I know. That's why. I mean, I all of those classes and, and workshops and all that, that's why I go because I want to connect. And that's why I do my retreats is because, you know, we can do all this online stuff and it's cool because we meet so many people here online, but the true connection, I mean, we're connected. We are very connected. I shouldn't, I don't want to take away from that, but the real heavy, heavy connection and relationships start when you really get to, you know, interact with people and see them in person. And, you know, that's why I'm always trying to meet up with everybody I can. And, you know, it's important, right? I love adventures and I love meeting new friends and making new friends. So that's my favorite part. When I was younger and less mature, because okay. that was like last year. Oh, those are cool. Last year? Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Younger and less mature. No, it was a couple years ago. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You're wrong. I, I did not like meeting up with people because I was so much an introvert and I was very, very content with my three friends. And that's it. Who are your three friends? Um, my three friends in California, which would be Kim and Susan and Kim. And Kim has since passed away. So that's sad. Um, but I was, kind of, we had this cool group, you know, look at those, you guys. So that's one coat and I'm going to put a second coat on, but right now I'm going to start doing the, uh, the cool stuff to them. So this is my completed two coats. That's groovy, right? Well, I'm going to do, and I'm going to leave these paints open because I'll have to put a second coat on, but I've got all these pens and then I've got skinny brushes here so I can, you know, put details and flowers and all that stuff on. These are nice because you can actually, I mean, if you don't smush them too much, you can wrap them around. What is it? What are you wrapping around? The, the boho stamp, the IOD stamp. Oh, yeah, because the stamp is flexible. Yeah. I mean, it's a little tricky, but. So, but you can do it. I ain't mad at it. Good. I'm glad. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, I'm like sitting here in my in my head, in my headspace, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. And of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a flower on here. All right, are three, the rest of us, are, what's that? Are any of the three friends that you mentioned, were they, are they artists? No, um, one of them is a photographer, so yeah, I guess. Um, and the other one, she loves art and creativity, but I don't know that she would describe herself that way, but though, that one I met because we worked at the Department of Education together. Gotcha. You know, that was in my other life. Yeah. The life I left behind, but one of them is the one that I started with. The photographer is the one I started the studio with. And, um in Lake Forest, Studio Vintage. Oh, cool. Yeah, and that's kind of where this whole, for me, where this whole journey started. I had my job in education, but I started that studio, and then the more I got into it, the more I was like, I can't write grants. I can't do things like that anymore. No, I have to do this. It's such a brave journey. Ah. Or, or crazy, I don't know which really. No, I think um, artists who move past being fearful of not creating things perfect, it's a great journey and it's exciting to see where people go and which directions they take. Yeah. It's inspiring. Well, yeah, I think it is. I think it all is inspiring. But I, I found out after I, you know, when I was working in education, I was also working with women. And so I found out that that's where my, I mean, my art is my passion, but working with women is, is like just insane. I have so much passion and it just, 
I didn't know I was gravitating towards it again. Um, commercial. Apparently, I locked my husband outside. One second. Oh, okay. Go get him. So I put a little flower on there. <laughs> Carrot, do you seal the? Yes. Oh, the shoe. Yes. Bethany. Hi, Bethany. Yes, I'm going to seal it probably with wax because I like the way wax looks better on painted vinyl and leather. Um, so that's probably how I would seal it. Uh, I've never done it. No, I have painted my boots with wax and they were fine. Um, I think once it, if it cures, it's going to be fine. So that's what I'm going to do is seal it with wax. So I'm just sitting here going like, okay, what do I do next? I think I'm going to do some just little lines. Are we on your main page? We're on both YouTube and Kara's Color Me Creative. Yes. Oh, cool. YouTube and my main page, yes. I don't know if we were in your top secret group or for the whole world to see. Top secret? <laughs> Do you mean my creative group? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing top secret there. We like to tell the whole world about it. <laughs> that was a free plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're on, we're on YouTube as well. So hi, YouTubers. On the YouTube, Sorry. I'm just putting lines in, and okay, nothing, nothing super, super crazy or exciting. I'm just playing, guys, just playing. But I want to make it look like any other shoe that's out there. It will be custom for sure. It won't look like any other Birkenstock, that's for sure. Even when Birkenstocks try to make their shoes look cute to me, they don't. They're pretty bad. <laughs> but they are so comfortable. And I like how I like how people have made a style out of it. Crystal Core Marina Mina, are you going to add color? You Michelle want wants to know if you're adding color. Color. Okay. No, she wants to know if you are. I was kind of thinking this strap right here would have some color on it. So this is where I'm at with my flat tops. Nice. What color do you think I should do? Are your sandals brown or black? Black. And then since I'm looking at a tiny screen, I can't really see the color of your stamp. Um, it's white. Ugh. Would that be cool? Like this? Your, your stamp is white. And then I stamped my forehead like this. Oh, it's it'd like be, a tattoo. It'd be cool for like a minute. It's like a tattoo. Did you do it? No. It, no. Oh, darn it. I would have liked that. Um, sometimes I get super into doing henna designs. Um, I bought one one time when we went camping because it gave me something to doodle with. Yeah. On um, people. <laughs> yeah. But I wanted to try the white henna. I have, I've never tried that. It's not really technically henna. I think it's actually a costume face paint with like a glue. Oh, okay. Sorry, I gotta get my brushes. Because henna is made, is it made with beet dye? Like beet? Henna leaves. It's like crushed leaves. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I would love to do henna because it kind of reminds me of... Um, 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 now I, I forgot... I forgot the word I'm looking for. Can Sorry, you, guy. Give me what? a hint. Give me a hint. M mandalas. Mandalas. Yes. So, I mean, I would love to do that because I love, I love drawing mandalas. I don't. <laughs> Bethany loves your headbands. I 
saw this on Dion's head and I said I needed it. There you go. She said she got it at DIY Go Go. So I picked one up. Good for you, girl. I like it. I like it. Um, so Heather says she's going to break out her Birkenstocks. Yes, Heather, you before you were on here, I was like, I encourage everybody to break out their sandals or Birkenstocks, paint them, show them on Facebook, and give us a hashtag Kara's Crew. Yeah, if your toes are ugly, just show your shoes. Yeah, please, no ugly toes. <laughs> Go get a manicure. It's winter. We understand, but we don't want to see it. Or be like a real hippie and put socks on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I did that on the airplane once. Dang. I swore I, ne I swore I wouldn't, and then I did, and it was so comfortable. I think I did, too, because I don't like taking my shoes off and stepping on the where everyone else has stepped on their feet. Well, this was back in the 80s before we had to take our shoes off. But when Birkenstocks were raging, because you know I'm old. Are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> so, yeah, because I was around when Birkenstocks were just raging as high fashion. Not even the 70s when they were just hippies and all that, but they were raging as high fashion. Okay, so, oh, uh, let's see where. So I just put these little, I'm trying to get it right on the camera, little black circles on there. So we're just having fun with lines and shapes over here on my side. Now I'm just gonna put some here, but then I decided to add some blue. Can you even see what I'm showing you? I can't, but I think um, others can. My screen's smaller than, you know, because I have all the controls on my screen. So, hi, Barbara Klepper. Hi, Barbara. Shave your toes, Michelle said. <laughs> if you take a picture of yourself with the Birkenstocks on, please <laughs> shave your toes. That's or great. Like you have two choices. Good advice, Michelle. Good advice. <laughs> or, or shave it. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. I totally agree. What if you had a bead? <laughs> there you go. So I do want to say this. For anybody who is in North Texas, I and Michelle O, who are on here, if you're in North Texas, please look up Millhouse McKinney. There is a big art show. Awesome. This, this weekend. This weekend, what time? It is from 12 till 6, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Come on Saturday down. And Sunday. Come on down and get your art. They're going to have food, food trucks, music. I mean, it's cool. And people come from all around to this art show. So there's like really great artists. I'm very intimidated, actually. How many artists do they have? I want to say about 30. Yeah. And and it's, it's, I mean, you have to be accepted into it. And I like, I see everybody who's coming and I'm telling you, I promise you, I'm so intimidated about it. I'm so nervous, but I'm going to do it anyways, because that's what we do, right? Well, should not look like you. Brave thing. Your toes should not. Okay. Carrie says your toes should not look like you could swoop down into the water and grab your lunch. <laughs> I have no idea, Carrie Carter, what in the world you're trying to say, but it's funny, I think. If they look like a hobbit, hide, hide that precious. Oh, if, they, if your toes look like a hobbit, is that what she's saying? I don't know, but that's where my brain went, and I thought it was funny, and I <laughs> laugh at things in my head that are funny. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, for posting that link to the mill house. Yay! Is there a, a fee to get in? No, it's free. 
Do you have to pay for parking? Nope. Do you have to pay for your own bags? Your own bags? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not in California. We're in Texas. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's how I know that. But no, no, you don't have to pay for your own bags. What a good deal. <laughs> what a good deal, right? Yeah. Um, and there's, oh, yeah, it's just going to be fun. It's going to be a cool, cool, cool event. Okay, you guys want to see so far what I have going on here? And both sides, look. Are you going to wear those? Heck yeah, I'm gonna wear them on Saturday. I guess I better go get a pedicure, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Shoot. It's an indoor event. I don't know if I can wear sandals. I feel like I have to be a little bit dressier. I don't know, I don't know. I've never done this. See, I'm nervous. You wear your joy, whatever that is. Oh, well, I'll be flannels and a stretchy pants. I didn't say wear your comfort. I said wear your joy. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Time to go shopping. My joy doesn't fit. <laughs> you gotta I get bought, joy. <laughs> I, bought, I bought some joy to wear to Waco, and like it, it really honestly doesn't fit. So even when I when when I it didn't fit before Waco, so now it doesn't even fit more. <laughs> That's where I'm at, Crystal. Hey, I, I get it. I was going to change. So I, I found a new vendor spot for my art stuff. Ooh, those look so great. I know they're cute, right? And the store just opened up. So they asked me to come and help them set it up and just how to display it, how to move things around. Is it, it's a new space, so are you going to move out of your current space? Um, it's a new space, and I'm, I have decisions to make. <laughs> but I brought in some, you know, I have um, a studio that I'm in. It's like um, extra, I, here we call them California rooms. Uh -huh. I, so maybe in Texas, it's a Texas room. I don't know what it is, so I've never. Well, it looks like it used to be like the end of the house, and then they added on. It's all. It's like. I think it's a metal roof, but it's kind of insulated. Uh huh. And then there's like glass. Windows all around. But it's like aluminum. I don't know. Uh -huh. So so it kind of is, not like it's cold when it's cold, and it's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So that's my art room and it used to have carpet, but I pulled that out and then I used um, unicorn spit, which is a, like a pigment. Very vibrant pigment with a little bit of acrylic in it, right? I don't think it has any acrylic in it, actually. Uh, it's water-based. Okay. Um, yeah. So I put that in dyed, kind of dyed the cement. It turned out cool. Nice. And that's where you are right now? That's just my, my art studio right now. Um, sorry, I got squirrel brain. So I had a bunch of furniture pieces that didn't fit in my other store. It's called Local Niche. Uh-huh. Of like a wall size booth. And right now I have DIY paint. I have some paint pixie brushes. And I like a few IOD supplies, some of my favorite things, because it's not a huge space. So it's kind of like a little micro. Right. Um, but not a lot of my painted furniture could fit there. So this place, because they're brand new, they were like, we would love to use your pieces as displays. Nice. So, yeah. Called Thoughtful Creations, and it's in San Diego, um, a little bit more east. Check oh, good. I guess it's called La Mesa. Um, yeah. Well, good. So many big changes for you. Absolutely. That's awesome. So now, and now your, your big plan in life, though, is to move to Hawaii, right? Yes. 
some someday or do you have a plan? One to two years. What's that? In one to two years. Okay, good. You have a goal. Yes. And what will you do in Hawaii? Be a mermaid. <laughs> Of course you will. That's exactly what you will do. I shouldn't have even have asked that question. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Come on. I would like okay. to open a store there. You're going to open a store? I would like to, to open a brick and mortar there. I would like to host retreats there. If you're going to go on an art retreat, Hawaii would be a great place to do it. So I wanted to find a property where I could do something like that. I think it'd be really cool. Yes, I do, I do too. Now we got to get you to come to my retreat. Well, did you say I just won a ticket? <laughs> you heard it here. No, I said maybe you'll be able to get a ticket since now you have a job. Oh, maybe. Yeah, this job pays the big bucks. So, I'm gonna be <laughs> what? <laughs> so excited. I'm excited for you. You guys, these are kind of turning out a little, I'm just gonna say a little bit rad, right? Oh, okay. what size are those? Uh, me. <laughs> Have you seen my feet? Orders. My, my. My family says it's amazing I can even stand up and I don't fall forward. What are you, like a six? Six and a half. If you are a six, you fall over, but that, that half is your saving grace right there. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need a help. So I just finished with old 57. Nice. That's one of my favorite colors. What other color should I do? Help, help. What what color should she do, you guys? Do, 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 Dora, scream it out. Old 57, you have old 57. Do you have cowgirl coral? Yes. I think that would be fun. And there's no denying that it looks amazing with old 57, right? Kind of like complementary colors almost totally not almost totally they're all southwestern and such you know <laughs> all southwestern and such or mermaid or yes mermaid they can be mermaid too just depending on how they're applied right if i wasn't running late i probably would have done liquid patina on the leather first yeah and then done this. Oh, because because it would hold it better, you think? Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, it's leather. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. OK, I'm going to do some circles that are not like symmetrical circles. Because I got, I got a little bit too symmetrical on here. Oh, no. Does that make you a square? Um, well, it certainly doesn't make me a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I've not seen the comments. You're not you're not seeing the comments. I know. Oh, and I you, called on my phone. Bethany says bright orange. She would like to see bright orange on there. Okay. Well, coral is not bright, but it is in the orange family, I'd say. But we can add can add it. Peggy, Michelle, it is my 39th. Oh, they're having a little conversation amongst themselves. Okay, I think inside these circles, I'm going to put some pink, hot pink. Who doesn't love hot pink? I do. Mermaids like hot pink, right? I think so. I mean, all the ones that I've ever met. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I could just go on forever with these, you guys. Look. 
They're so great. Right? I'm super excited about them. I have um, a few more days for people to sign up for my washi tape earring class. Oh, tell us about that. So I've been creating, these are my top seller earrings and I curated really awesome designs there like Van Gogh, Monet. They come with two extra rolls of washi tape. So there's all sorts of things you could do with that. And it has all the supplies plus at least a class with me that you can watch Facebook Live and ask questions and, and go along with me, or you can watch it at your convenience. And it is Sunday, March 28th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The cost is $40, and I send you the whole kit that gives you, makes you can make two pairs of earrings. And and you guys, it's cool. Her, I mean, it is the process that she does is super cool. And the earrings look super high end. Like, they're really cool. I mean, yeah. I, I love them. I love them. Yeah, you bought a pair. I bought a pair. And then, yes, yeah, I bought a pair. Let's leave it at that. And I love them. My mom bought pairs. Oh, yeah. From you. Pair. Um, Danielle Kaminsky has some. So now you can learn the process in a really fun way. With a fun gal, just a fun, wild and crazy gal. <laughs> how, how are your shoes coming along? What do you have left to do on them? Well, it's kind of, I mean, there's not that much surface area, but there's so many options. Right. I know that's how I feel too. Like now I'm doodling on my shoes and I could just keep on going, but I'm almost done with this, with this shoe. I remember when I was like in seventh grade, this boy like bully me. He came over and I had like fake Keds on because he couldn't afford the real Keds. Right. And he goes, oh, your shoes aren't decorated. They're now. And I was so annoyed. They're not, they're not decorated? Because I've always drawn and doodled on all of my shoes. And he had known me since like elementary school. Oh. Uh, brand new Keds, you know, that I probably like faux Keds. Yeah. Um, and I, I hadn't had the chance to draw on them yet. And he was like, Ooh, you must be mature now. <laughs> was, You're like, no, I'm not. And will never be because I'm a mermaid and no, goodbye. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. You don't even know. Okay. Just in seventh grade. <laughs> okay, I'm almost. I used to like take, like, cut my Converse when they started to fall apart, paint on them, sharpen. Hey, I had fake clothes too. I mean, they're just clothes. They just have a different brand name that we deem as more important. It's all right. Silly. Well, and it's wrong, right? I mean, it's just, it's silly that we do or that people do and all that. But my parents, um, I mean, they have the means, right? But they're just, no, that's stupid. <laughs> and they're still like that. Well, my dad's passed, but there's, I mean, my mom is still like that. She's like, no, I'm not going to pay that much money for a handbag. She almost died because I had a Kate Spade handbag, but I got it. I got it as a gift. And the person who gave it to me as the gift, which is Myra, <laughs> is a professional handbag shopper for used handbags. And so I said, number one, it was a gift. Number two, Myra is a professional used handbag shopper and she would never pay full price either. So relax. 
it's okay. <laughs> but no, I can't, I can't do that either. It's crazy. I do love thrift stores though, because then I can find the brands that I like and have recycled fashion. Yes. And you can look original. Okay, guys, I think this pair is complete. I'm going to take the washi tape off so we can see. Washi. Washi. I know, I know, I know. I always say washi. Just one of those things. It's the Crystal's, all, Crystal's all, you're saying it wrong. It's not what I said. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are the best fake Birkenstocks ever. Well, you haven't walked in them yet. Yes, I have. Oh, you have? Yes. Oh, nice. Nobody has fake Birkenstocks like those. Okay. Right? I bought them from like, they were like White House Mountain or something like that. And it's a good brand, I think. Yeah. From DSW. They have those at DSW. Yeah. I found them like at TJ Maxx and they hurt my feet so bad. Oh, and really? I, um, always made like farting noises when I walked and that's just not acceptable. Like. How are you supposed to walk around with a shoe that toots all day long? <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want you making farting noises when you walk, Crystal. That's not acceptable. No way. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. I think I'm going to finish up for the night. Look, let me see yours close up. Hold it real close to the camera. Cute. Oh my gosh, cute. You know what? And you could you could also do washi tape on those. Oh, did you decoupage it on? No, I'm just saying, like, if you ever did another one, you could do washi tape and then seal it on there, right? Oh, yeah, totally. She's the queen of using washi tape for things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gassy. Oh, Michelle said that's so annoying. Gassy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Return them to the store. <laughs> Can you imagine? They're like, but ma'am, you wore them. Yes. Yeah. But how am I supposed to know that they're lactose intolerant? <laughs> There's no other way. <laughs> oh, I can return these. They're just too colorful for me. <laughs> <laughs> you should really do it. That'd be so funny. I should go and, and, and film it and go, okay, I'm going to return my shoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would be funny. Be a funny video just to see. Yeah. That's totally how I bought them. They're special edition Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, I think I'm going to close us down. Oh, shut it down. Shut it down. Um, Amber says, Crystal Coral Marie Molina, are those Burks or knockoffs? Oh, these are, these are Burks that really need like their own cemetery <laughs> lot. <laughs> they're her garden shoes and they're Burks. Peace shoes, rest in pieces. Oh, yeah. Rest in pieces. They're totally falling apart, but I love them. Yeah, they're the most comfortable kind. I had tennis shoes um, that I just had to get rid of. They had a hole in the toe and a hole on the heel. And then my foot was coming through the bottom. And I was like, I guess I'll get rid of them. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, Crystal, thank you for coming on. It was fun. It's always fun to see your face. Oh, thanks. I like your face too. Ah, and thank you guys for doing the fairy sprinkles um, for the mermaid and the fairy, I guess. So that's, uh, that's that. <laughs> All right. And make sure that you go and check out Crystal's page, which is Essential Expressions. Yes. Yes. And we'll see you. We'll see you on the uh, DIY page, apparently. Yay. All the time. Check tomorrow. All right. All right, girl. Love ya. Bye. Ciao. Bye.